Hi, it's Matt here for Newshooter.com at NAB 2014. I'm with Sam from Cinema Control Labs. Now, Ander is something that we featured on our site uh, last week. And this is an incredible system. Now, take me through it. Okay, so basically, at the heart of this system, we've got a mode controller here, which is getting streaming data from a magnetic motion capture system. And so, basically, we're getting very accurate positional data coming from that motion capture system, which tells us exactly where the camera is and exactly where the performer is. And as you can see, the data is updating live here. And what we've done is tied that data into the driving of the focus pulling itself. So, what we have is fully automated focus pulling. Um, you can use more than one sensor, and even with one sensor, you can have more than one point. So, with a touchscreen interface, you can actually cycle through any number of points that you pre-program and it makes the job of focus pulling more creative I think and less technical. And the sensors are little lapel sized sort of sensors that, are, that go onto a belt pack that puts onto, you put onto a performer and then you can calibrate those sensors you can have three sensors onto one pack so then you can actually cycle through uh, yeah, di so the different so motion for points. Each perform, for each performer then you could get three sensor points so if, if some of the dance footage we had you know we had them in the hands one in each hand and one for the face um, the important thing is that the sensor doesn't have to be on the point that's in focus it only has to be relative the focus point is relative to the sensor which a lot of people get confused about they're like well how does that work because you don't want to focus on a sensor and no of course you don't want to focus on the sensor but we have a system to very simply create a calibration offset so um, by doing that you can very quickly set up a scene so it hopefully means that you're not doing a technical process and that you're doing a creative process. Well, so in this day and age where you know, money is time and time is money, a system like this is going to save a lot of time on set. Well, obviously we hope that it's going to save time. I mean, that's the, that's the point of, for me, you want to remove as much technological barriers as you can from the filmmaking process because the filmmaking process should be first and foremost creative so you want to say I want to make this simple how do you make it simpler of course it's a bit of an oxymoron right you throw technology into the mix and you make it simpler but you know I think the ultimate goal is it's a system that you turn it on and it just works so that's where we're aiming with this I'm not claiming that we're there yet but maybe by next year it'll be like you push the button and boom everything just happens and for those focus pullers who are out there who uh, may be thinking I, I might be out of a job soon <laughs> they're not going to be because this system can also be used uh, as a traditional follow focus system as well yeah some of the, some of the things that people have been quite excited about is the fact that we get this streaming data which is very precise data to any of the nodes that you choose and you can actually in the middle of a shot switch between the nodes so if you have two or three performers you can actually switch, oh, what's the distance of that performer from the camera right now? What's the distance of this performer? So you can get this data live, and if you're a really great focus puller and you'd rather just do it manually by looking at these numbers, then there is some assistance there. Because, you know, a lot of focus pullers, they don't want to lose control, understandably, because sometimes an actor does do something unexpected, or they might just reach out and grab something. Um, so this way you could just manually control it and use the data or in fact you can switch back and forth between now I'm just going to do the automatic control and now I'm going to switch to manual so you can slide in and out of the two and no the focus pull is not going to be out of a job because they're the ones making the decisions so okay thanks very much Sam Thank so if you want more information about uh, Andra come down to the show floor here at NAB and check it out in person uh, you really have to see it in person to uh, to, to understand and, and believe its its capabilities uh, also if you want more information you can look at our article on newshooter.com or go to the Andra website